So here we are, the opening day of Conexpo Conag 2017. The theme for this year is, if it's new, it's here. And so are thousands of people eager to discover what's new in the world of construction. Opening day at Conexpo Conag saw a number of important press announcements. According to Caterpillar's new CEO, Jim Umpleby, the company is focusing on technology solutions to improve profit and efficiency for customers. And at Volvo Construction Equipment, they unveiled their redesigned L350 wheel loader that features a new powertrain, new hydraulics and a new ergonomic operator environment. Three D printing is not sci-fi. It's here today, now, and astonishingly, it's been used to print a mini excavator. Welcome to Project Amy. Five, four, three, two, one. Unveil. Project Amy came about about three years ago after we had worked with. Cincinnati Incorporated and Local Motors on 3D printing a car, a number of fluid power companies came to us and said, we'd really like you to, to see if you could 3D print an excavator at Con Expo. The boom is 3D printed with a new system that we've developed with Wolf Robotics called the Metal Bam. The second part is the cab. It's made out of composites and it's printed out with the Cincinnati system. And then the last part is the heat exchanger and it's 3D printed using a metal powder bed system from a company called Concept Laser. Right now we're growing parts at about five pounds per hour. We really need to get it about an order of magnitude faster and we're well on our way to get there. While printing the excavator is interesting, printing the tooling that you use to make the excavator is really the better value proposition. Right now, when you start looking at manufacturing, you have to make molds, jigs, fixtures, and those are one of a kind. They're very expensive, usually hundreds of thousands of dollars a piece. What we're saying is you could actually use this technology to print those molds in days rather than months at costs of thousands of dollars rather than hundreds of thousands of dollars. We've already started doing some preliminary tooling work with some automotive companies. That's going to happen this year. Replacement parts probably in a year or two years. To me, what gets exciting is when I see companies coming in and thinking of ways to use it that we hadn't even imagined, which will happen. Lugong have once again been innovating, but this time they've taken a technology for vertical lift on skid steer loaders that's been around since 1971 and developed it for use on wheeled loaders. This is the first vertical lift uh, wheel loader. That means it's got a vertical lifting loader arm on an articulating frame really gives three benefits. It allows us a larger tipping load, which lets us put on a bigger bucket for the same size machine, and it allows us to increase the dump height and the dump reach. Driveline costs in wheel loaders goes up exponentially with the size of the wheel loader. So, so what this allows us to do is put a bucket with a smaller and therefore exponentially lower cost driveline. The key features of it is that the rest of the machine is all the same as the uh, radial lift machines that we have in production today. So it's all carryover parts. It's parts we already have in stock. The only thing new on it is the loader arm. So what the customer will see is he'll be able to load about 30% more for a given size of machine. So the fuel reduction would be about that 30%. Case is celebrating its 175th anniversary this year. Back then, this beautiful machine was state-of-the-art technology. Today, Case is still a leader in the practical application of technology, and this can be seen in their brand new concept machine, a dozer loader, codenamed Project Minotaur. The DL450 is new enough that we're still calling it a concept vehicle. So this is its world debut. What we're going to be doing here at Con Expo is having focus groups, talking to contractors to see if they like the concept that we've developed here. And the concept is we want to take a large CTL and combine it with 
the pushing capabilities of a small dozer. We've done that by integrating a C-frame connection where you can directly connect the dozer blade to the chassis of the machine. That's the major difference between this machine and a large CTL with a dozer blade attachment on it. But we're doing it in a quick coupler style so you can drop that attachment and pick up anything else that you would like to work with on your, your standard CTL attachments. We're excited about this project and we're gonna find out here at Con Expo just how quickly we need to get it to market, uh, how big the demand is for it. There we go, the end of the opening day of Conexpo Conag 2017, and I'm pooped. Time for some relaxation. We'll see you all again tomorrow, but don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, constructiontv.tv. Thank you for watching.